Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your astrological overview for week commencing the 6th of July. The zodiac sign of Cancer is very prominent this week, with the Sun and Mars already located in this area. This is very much about security, emotional, physical, where we live, and also about building things up, foundations. Mars is an impatient influence, however, and both these planets, or a luminary in the case of the Sun, and Mars as a planet, go face to face with the tiny entity which is Pluto in the sign of Capricorn. Now these are very challenging aspects. They point towards encountering someone who tries to, in some way, force you to do something in a way that perhaps you weren't expecting to do. On the other hand, your own enthusiasm for a project could go over a line of what's acceptably diplomatic into a more dictatorial tone. So it's about balancing energy and drive. And if we think about it, Mars is very much about desire. But Pluto in Capricorn is also about the orthodox. So some of the things that we might want to change might be things that have been long lasting. And perhaps some of the conflict will be inside of ourselves as much as anyone we're going to encounter. But both are cardinal signs, that means they're leader signs. And that's even more points towards some kind of tussle. Cancer can also be quite controlling. So if you find yourself in some kind of conflict situation or seeing something very differently to somebody else, it's about how we negotiate this very intense energy. At the start of the week, Mercury is actually going to be a real help. It remains in one of its two uh, zodiac signs it rules, of Gemini, and it's therefore helping things to be light and fluid. But there is a quarter moon which occurs on Wednesday in the sign of Aries. This points towards being aware that we don't act against our own best interests because we react to situations in a more emotional way, or we're too impatient about wanting to get what we want. And then on Thursday, Mercury itself moves into Cancer. It's not particularly happy in this location because, of course, it's about intellect, it's about talk and thought. And the rulership of Cancer is the Moon, so that's about emotion. Talking about emotion, the Moon actually does combine brilliantly with Neptune on Monday, which is wonderful if you've got time to watch a film, read a book, have a bit of escapism, go for a lovely walk in the countryside, or perhaps book a vacation to somewhere really different and exotic. If, however, you're dealing with life's realities, the gritty realities, it's a more challenging aspect. Mercury, ironically, in the second half of this week, forges a fab influence to Neptune itself, suggesting that if we can combine logic with a certain amount of inspiration, then it can work out well for us. But perhaps the standout influence in a positive sense for this week is the combination between Venus and Jupiter, which continues in Leo. This is star quality stuff, and it still brings to the fore anything to do with the arts, to do with performance, broadcasting, presentation, popular culture. And if you enjoy um, going out with friends and, and doing something that is more glamorous, this can certainly help us to strut our stuffs. But with Venus... Uh, and Jupiter in Leo, remember just before that in Cancer we have this very, very potent energy which is much more to do with control, desires, people trying to force things and it's not all going to be sweetness and light this week, that's for sure. Thank you for joining me, good luck and goodbye for now.